a fabric is an important property in the performance of made up garments as is its ability to withstand the stresses and strains of wear whether it be apparel wear, furnishings, protective clothing etc. The fibre type, fabric construction and applied finishes on fabrics and or garments can influence the ultimate strength of the fabric and consequently its performance in wear. There are various tensile testers capable of measuring the grab strength and the results give a good indication of the tensile property of a material. The strength of a woven fabric is determined by using a tensile testing machine which is capable of applying a load at a constant rate of extension and recording the load at which the specimen breaks down. There are two commonly used methods, tensile or grab. The procedure shown here is the grab strength method using the Hounsfield tensile testing machine. Test specimens are prepared by cutting out five specimens in the length or warp direction and five in the width or weft direction from the sample provided. The specimens are each 150 mm by 100 mm, the longer dimension being parallel to the direction being tested. The Hounsfield is set up with the correct jaw faces in both the top and bottom holders. The back jaw face being 75mm by 25mm and the front face being 25mm by 25mm. The gauge length, the distance between top and bottom jaws, is set to the specified distance. The appropriate test program is selected from the computer menu and the specified details entered onto the screen. The computer will set the machine up into the testing mode. The test specimen is mounted into the upper jaw and clamped in position and then mounted into the bottom jaw and clamped in position, ensuring that the specimen is straight. The start button is depressed to allow the machine to apply the load until the specimen breaks. The computer will record this data and the specimen may then be removed. The next specimen is mounted as before. This process is continued until all the specimens have been tested. The computer is then set to print out the test results.